Hey, this is Derek. Hope everybody is doing well. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, this bubble. Pretty much uh, going to be coming very soon, if it's not 2009, into 2010. And the bubble is based on the cost cutting of inventories and employees. We've already seen uh, employment rates going a lot higher. I said in my previous video that uh, it's going to go extremely a lot higher and it's mainly because of what this is going to cause basically. So uh, first thing is this, the uh, PE ratios which is uh, price to earnings for stocks has massively broke out, it's huge. This is the chart here and from the 40s and the 80s we were in this 10 to 20 range from 1995 until the breakout of this point just recently, it ranged between 20 and 35. Now we're at like 150. This is extremely huge. And generally speaking, when PE ratios are this uh, big, what happens is stocks usually sell off. Uh, to bring it down a little bit, we almost need to see support at about uh, 50 right now. And 50 was a huge number anyway. Nonetheless, this does uh, affect the stock market a lot. Now, we've been seeing a lot about banks making a lot of money. And I've been thinking a lot about the reasons why. You could first say the mark-to-market -market accounting has a lot to do with it. But when you count their equity positions, what this means is they're holding stock money. And when these banks fail a lot of times they end up selling this and it's just inevitable before we start to see the uh, failures by uh, the likes of well just the Citigroup and Bank of America and it's ba that basically now at the point for the financials and almost a lot of different industries the cream of the crop are the survivors uh, Gerald Salente said it well in a video that if you're gonna try to do some sort of business, you got to give that wow factor. Uh, it's got to be something, and hot cutting prices was a previous one, but if you're like opening up a restaurant, uh, the restaurant businesses are going to be falling, so it's very hard to succeed. So you'd almost have to do have a plan that would be wow basically anyway enough about that whole wow thing because i've got some uh, more notes on here when we take a look at the dominoes effect that's going to happen from the inventory bubble where the revenues are just going to continue to sink and it's going to cause probably a lot of uh, bankruptcies for a lot of different companies and what this will generally mean is you may get some uh, times where we could have sales on different uh, stores at one period. It's a possibility. I'm not saying that's going to be the case. It's just if a lot of businesses fall relatively around the same time, that will almost definitely bring a short-term deflationary period as these stores fall down. Uh, that would mean uh, price of oil will be going down we would see uh, gold and silver, which would be uh, going down, and most likely a little rally in the dollar for a short-term type of a rally. And those are the type of things that would normally happen during that period. Now, that's just generally speaking. When you say generally this happens, a lot of times some of it does, and one time it'll just stop working the way it's always worked before. Sort of like how days where the markets go higher, the dollar goes lower, and when the dollar goes higher, the markets go lower. It's not always going to stay that way. And uh, a lot of times, uh, stuff works in the opposite. Uh, anyway, with the uh, addition, of course, of these companies going under, the domino effect uh, means manufacturers and other companies affected to them are going to uh, have to lay off people which we've been seeing but even at greater amounts uh, a lot of times companies are at the point where we can't lay off any more people and if that's the case their next case is bankruptcy so that's the uh, chain reaction in which it's uh, basically going to uh, come into play now it seems as if that the way income is going to at least evolve in the short term 
is going to be a lot of different side jobs, people uh, helping out someone's vegetable gardens, doing work for other people. And if it's on a barter system, that's where the payments and stuff like silver is going to come into play. Uh, different types of food, maybe someone bought a whole whack of rice and now he uh, pays rice to people to help out. It's almost as if uh, I, that's where I see the direction going within the next uh, 12 to 24 months. So, uh, I don't know when this inventory bubble is going to explode, but I realistically would guess in less than a year or around a year's time, it could be uh, extremely affected. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.